One of my favorite ways to get new vinyl is through Bandcamp. Yes, Bandcamp, that otherwise streaming and digital download service. But what makes it so great? Well, stick around, because I'm about to show you my top 10 reasons why you should use Bandcamp. So Bandcamp's been around since about 2008, and it's a really great way for bands and fans to get together. Uh, it's an easier buying experience overall from other ways. Um, it also has a social media component to it, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go through a little bit of that coming up. Um, others have tried the combination streaming service and uh, social media thing and uh, failed miserably. Apple is definitely one of those companies. Uh, if you remember Ping, some people do, some people don't. It came and went very quickly. But Bandcamp does it pretty right, and there's a reason for that. The service is great. So along my laptop here, I'm going to show you 10 reasons why you should use the service. So probably one of the cooler things about this, especially for bands, is that bands actually get paid about 85% on the average, 80 to 85 typically, depending on if you're releasing physical media or digital downloads. And this ultimately benefits listeners too, uh, the bands being here, because uh, they make money, they make more money, which means they get to stick around longer, make more albums, and basically exist. You know, a lot of these services really screw bands a lot. I don't need to name them, you know what they are. Uh, bands also get to set their own prices, which is also not a common practice with a lot of these other services. So Bandcamp gives the bands and the fans an overall better deal. And I'm going to quickly go over to the Bandcamp artist page just to show you, if you're in a band, where to go. So if you're at the main page, you basically scroll down to the bottom, all the way down here to artists right here in the middle. And you just click learn more. And uh, there's some good stuff here, statistics, search engine optimization, uh, discount codes, a whole lot of information here. If you're in a band, you can just read it. So good stuff. So the next thing I really like about Bandcamp is being able to contact bands uh, via the messaging service in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, my collection uh, on my profile and we're going to go pick a band and I'm going to go here in my own profile. And here is my collection here. There's a, you can see the albums right here. And let's go to haunts page i'm going to go to mind freeze in particular i'm going to click right over here and this is haunts page so if you want to contact the band just scroll all the way down to where it says contact haunt under contact slash help and a little message comes up i will put my name in there's my name and the subject is great album and just got your well, i can't spell today you'll find out i'm a really bad typist just got your album last week and really love it keep on rocking on because why not right and i'll send the message and there it goes and allow five to seven business days for a response so there you go Another thing I love about Bandcamp is when I buy the record, and I do buy vinyl, this is obviously a vinyl channel, they'll keep watching this video if you're not into vinyl, plenty of this is about non-vinyl people as well, just to let you know. But I also get digital tracks with a lot of the albums I get, which is really cool. Uh, physical purchases often mean direct downloads of tracks. Um, some record labels offer download cards with their vinyl albums, and others really don't. Um, and I'm looking at you, Nuclear Blast, by the way. But a whole slew of bands on Bandcamp often include direct downloads of their tracks. Also, for you vinyl folks, uh, some albums are available in the format, uh, but when they are, it's often for a limited time. Um, so you should check this site soon before the release date of your favorite albums are upcoming to see if there's some cool vinyl. And I'm going to show you a bit of the download process here. So to get there, I'm gonna go through my purchases section here, and you can see that the one of the more recent albums I bought was the Crypt Sermon album. And if I wanna download the tracks, I go here to download album. Pretty intuitive. So anyways, just hit download, and a dialog box pops up. 
to get your tracks. So there it is, and you basically just hit save. And I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again, but that's what you do. Fantastic. Another great feature of Bandcamp is streaming. And you can do this through your mobile device, but you can also do it on the web. And I'm gonna take you to my section for that. So if you go to collection, which is in your profile, you will find the, uh, the albums again that are here. And I'm going to click on, let's go to, let's go to this Haunt album right here. Actually, I don't need to, because right there is a play button. So I hit that, song comes up. And there it is. And I'll stop that for copyright claim reasons. Like I'm really concerned about that. You know how it goes. So there's that. And if you're a real audiophile, it's good to know that there are a lot of digital audio formats you can download some of these albums. Uh, there are a whole bunch of them. I'm actually going to show you where that is. Um, if you go to the download page that I showed you earlier, right about here there's a drop down menu. And you can see there's MP3s. Uh, in a couple of different uh, kilobit sizes. Um, also FLAC, AAC, uh, that format I don't know very well. <laughs> Og, Forbis, you can make fun of me later in the comments. Uh, the WAV files, AAFF, so compressed and uncompressed formats, great stuff. Another fantastic feature of Bandcamp are the special offers that a lot of bands do on their pages. Um, some do merch, some do music combos, uh, not to mention exclusive colored vinyl variants. Um, I have the Angel Witch album here, and I got the, I got, as I struggle with it, and I got the orange uh, marble there, fantastic. So a lot of bands like to do special stuff for their fans, and they often do it through their Bandcamp page. Uh, it could be exclusive vinyl variants, again, bundle packages that include t-shirts or stickers, um, if you're not checking out Bandcamp before you buy an album, you really should, because there's a lot of good stuff here. And I'm gonna show you, just uh, talking about that Angel Witch album, I'm gonna show you some of their merch and some other stuff they have. So I am once again going to go to my collection, and we will find Angel Witch right here, click on that. So here's the Angel Witch page. And if you go to the left side column over here, you can find the various versions of what they sell, but then you can see there's a bundle here. And there are a bunch of bundles. So some of them are sold out. Again, limited time for some of this stuff, so you should definitely check in quickly. You can see tons of sold out stuff. I and mean, the Angel Witch album's been out for quite a few months, so that's gonna happen. Um, I also should show you the merch section right here. Again, it's t-shirts, uh, more bundles, lots of t-shirts. So it's a great way to check out additional merch from your favorite bands. And maybe only here. Again, they do exclusive stuff a lot of the bands on Bandcamp. So it's a good place to check for that kind of stuff. One thing I really like to do on this service is follow bands. Uh, some of my favorite bands are sort of up and coming bands that I wanna know a little bit more about. Um, I follow quite a few bands. I'm going to show you that section here. I'm going to go once more over to here and then my collection again. And then there's a tab here called following. And you can see that I follow a number of bands, uh, Death, Traveler, Crip Sermon, um, a lot of the bands that I've already bought albums from, but some I haven't because I still want to check the band out a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'm on the fence about the album. Maybe I'm not. But um, it's just a great way to keep track of all this stuff. And, you know, they send out notifications to uh, app notifications. Uh, you can opt in or opt out of that if you want to. But they'll send you notifications about things that are happening. Maybe it's shows. Maybe it's new and upcoming releases. So, again, it's a great way to keep track of these bands. It's a fantastic way, especially if you dig them a lot. Another thing on Bandcamp I really enjoy are the music suggestions. And you get there on the website by clicking on this lightning bolt here at the upper right corner. Uh, the, the portable app also has it more clearly marked, to be honest. But we're going to come here. And uh, this is largely based on preferred genres. You can choose your genres when you set up your profile. And it really is one of my favorite ways of discovering bands I might like. So right here, for instance, you can see I have hard rock as a category, and there's this album, of course, Blood Incantation. Go figure, right? I've already got that one. 
And uh, I have some, you know, podcast is an interest of mine too. Here's some thrash metal offerings. Uh, this is in general heavy metal and uh, more podcasts and metal and death metal. It just goes on and on. And speaking of discovery, Bandcamp has an actual discover section here. Uh, again, a great way to discover bands. Clearly, that's why it's called Discovered. Um, I'm going to scroll down to where that section is. It's on the main page. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down quite a bit here to where you see these uh, three bars here um, colored. And what you can do is you can click on these tabs here as sort of filters to basically, you know, whittle it down, you know, your choices and what all that. So. I am going to go to metal, obviously, and let's do all metal, I'll keep it there, and best selling, and let's go to vinyl, since I'm a vinyl guy, and quite a few of you are too, no doubt. So right away, I see here I have quite a few. Um, I am going to go to page three, because I already know that I'd like to look at, uh, or maybe it's moved, how about that? Let's go to page four. Here it is, Tumult. So I'm gonna click on Tumult. The song might start up right away, so I'm gonna stop it. And then I'm gonna go down to Hear More. That's the button right here. So I've discovered this band, discovered, because obviously I know about them already. Here's their page for this album specifically. And, uh, and, and you can see, again, on the left, there are a number of vinyl variants here. There's good old black. There is, uh, what did I miss here? Uh, sea blue and purple splatter. And you know, they have other things too. Their cassette releases as compact disc releases. Here's some more sold out stuff. Again, if you're too late to the party, that's kind of what happens. But good stuff. Great way to discover bands, for sure. But probably one of my very favorite functions at Bandcamp is creating a wish list. I love wish lists. I think a lot of us use them. A lot of us rely upon them because let's be honest, who's got a perfect memory, right? You find something, maybe you can't afford it right away. Maybe you're gonna get to it later. Maybe you're gonna check it out online first kind of a thing. We are going to look at how to do a wish list setting. So I am going to go to my profile again, and you can do this from any band page, but this is just my quickest way of getting there. Uh, let's go to this one in particular. This is the reissue of the Death Live album, but I just got it, the reissue of it on vinyl. Great stuff, by the way, especially if you love Death, which I'm sure a few of you do. So if you look, I'm gonna scroll a little bit here. Um, it says I own this right here, but what it would say if I didn't was it would have wish list and you would just click the heart, basically. In fact, let's just go over to another album just to give you a visual of that. So here's Scream Bloody Gore, deluxe reissue. I might pick it up, it's a classic album. And look, right here is the wish list. So, you know what, actually, let's put that on my list because I'm probably gonna get it. Of course, there are some cons to the Bandcamp app, specifically the app. And the big one is not being able to download songs directly into the app and save them for offline use. I think that's crazy, especially so many streaming services let you do that, but somehow Bandcamp doesn't and if you want those tracks you basically have to download them on your computer and then take those files and somehow import them into your portable device which is just a big pain in the butt and we really shouldn't have to do that so they really should see their way into adding this functionality it just seems like a no-brainer there are some other features on Bandcamp both the app and the website you should definitely check all of them out you know log on to bandcamp.com if you're on the web set up an account and definitely try it out and you can also follow me as a user on the service. Just do a search for my name. Anywho, that's all for now. Take care and ever forward.